Don't get cock blocked by your cox cable and pee. So we're gonna pie. flash the pie hole. We're gonna flash the pie hole. See what a hole looks like, how to exploit it, and how to get <laughs> what in. What a hole looks like. Exactly. <laughs> you know what? If you don't know what a hole looks like, go look at a video on Pornhub first before you watch any more of this. All right, so now we're uh, going back and we're watching our process run here, and it might take a little bit because we told it to run all all of the SMTP these right here. Yep. We told it to run all of these and look for weaknesses in that area against this IP address. And honestly, I'll be surprised if we find anything because these are VPN servers. Exactly. Not email servers. Exactly. Exactly. But this could show us if they might have an you know SMTP server on there that's poorly configured. Mm -hmm. So if you if you have a business, small business, large business, whatever kind of business, and you and you personally host an email server, mm -hmm. this is something good you can run against. Oh yeah, big time. And and again, you know, should you should you look at this and should you. Uh, know how to do this? Yes, the answer is 100% yes because uh, there are people that will, you know, drive by people's houses or maybe they live in an apartment complex and they'll be sniffing everybody's machine. Yep. Um, and and you know, hackers are hackers. They're always going to find a way to get to something. And kind of you know another thing to add about the VPN while we're talking here is, you know, the VPN it it's great because say if you walk into your um, into Starbucks. Uh, and you go log into your bank, and you know if you didn't have a VPN on, they would actually be able to get your username, your account number, address, all that stuff, uh, right there in the router. Which, again, we'll probably do a show on on that at some point. But well, just you could also have a malicious individual that sits there. Exactly. And he could be, you know, using you know Wireshark, which like Dave mentioned, something we'll probably go over in another video. Uh, or some other kind of you know network packet sniffing tool that can see your passwords that come in plain text. If you're not using HTTPS, some websites don't use that. All your passwords sit in plain text. And using a VPN, it's encrypted. They don't know what you're doing. Exactly. And you know, also you know, I mean, if you're on your employer's free Wi-Fi, uh, you know, you might have some IT, some rogue IT guy that is you know collecting people's passwords and usernames. Uh, by using a VPN when you're uh, on the Wi-Fi device uh, at work, uh, you're, you're going to prevent that from happening. So I mean, there's some fuckers out there. So yeah, I mean you're one of them. I mean you know, yeah, that's he, what he, I do. He's that guy. You know, <laughs> he, he's he's getting everybody's porn passwords and you know. But that's just only for my yeah, own benefit, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You Corey porn <laughs> Share, sites. Sharing yeah, is caring. Exactly. You Corey all the porn sites. Exactly. And, and, and then see who logged into them. I want that premium, baby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wow, this is taking a while. Well, I mean, fuck, we don't know what these yeah, hooks are running. exactly, exactly. So we could kill this. Do you want to kill it? Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and kill it. Well, right. just know that it is on a um, on a, a, a VPN, so it's not really going to complement anything anyway. But So, I mean, it, it came up with a couple things, and this was what we saw earlier. Yeah, yeah. Same shit. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it went through a lot of it, and... But anyway, I mean, it was already running for two hundred fifty seconds. Yeah, I mean, it, exactly. It probably had a lot to go through. Yeah, it had a lot to go through. I'm guessing. Cool. Um, so that's kind of that. What I would say is that if you, um, you know, want to set up a uh, a virtual machine, here and we'll uh, we'll show our virtual machine here real quick. Virtual box. We want to open up our virtual machine, and we have a. Diet Pie, it's it's Debian basically, but um, I, I guess for lack of a better explanation, it's a watered down, you know, very light. Uh, it's like Debian light. There's not much to exactly. it. Exactly. There's a lot of stuff cut out of it. Yeah. So we just use that because it's Linux. It works. Works very well. And for what we're using this for, for this purposes, it works perfect. Yeah. Exactly. And so. Do you want to bring that bad boy over? Yeah. Let's bring this bad boy over. So. Here is our virtual machine, and it looks just like Linux. We're running on Linux, uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this guy, which we can't copy. I forget. 
or at least. So this is this is the show from inside the network. Correct. What's currently open? Correct. In, in the beginning, I said, hey, you know, you really should be uh, doing this from the outside of your network. Cause you're not going to find any vulnerabilities, or if if you hopefully not. Exactly. But you know, if you want to see what it looks like from the inside of your network, it's kind of fun just to look and see. You know, what does it look like in there? And so here we go. We're just gonna say, and map. Yeah, oh. yes, I could do it. There we go. And map, and we're gonna say dash st, and we're gonna say o oh, because we want to know the operating systems, and we're gonna put in our local internal subnet. Subnet, and yours is probably gonna be similar. Maybe it's o dot one, uh, but it's gonna be something like that. I mean, personally, myself, I always change this. Because some work networks, you know, when they're poorly configured, mm -hmm. they'd be also this way. So if you actually use a, a VPN tunnel from your mm -hmm. work, it'll conflict. Oh. I've come across that. Got it, got it. Plus so, having a little bit more unique, it, I, may, it makes it harder. Because if you know, yeah. if you think from the mind of a hacker, if the majority of people use the same subnet, that is it'll very be a lot true. easier. Everybody, to yeah, any hacker that gets into your system is going to know that your, your router is on 1.1. So yeah. good call. Good, good idea, Will. Uh, and then we're going to, we'll show you, this is how you output it to a text. And we're gonna, just going to do one.txt. And, and so this is just going to save it to the root of the user. Correct. Root. Correct. So that way, you know, if uh, we can't scroll back in here in the virtual machine like we could in um, PowerShell. Correct. So we're going to save it to a text file. And this one doesn't take very long to run, but we'll run it and uh, see what we come up with. I guess I got a pretty good little buzz going on right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, this uh, is 127 proof. So. And I had a couple. I had a couple fingers of that bad. Yeah, yeah. Me too. And then, uh, what is this one? I think this it's one 92. is 92 proof. So yeah. it's it's 46 percent. This one is 63 or 64 percent. 63 and a half. I 63 think. and a half percent. Yep. So we are partying for for Dave's birthday. Yes, we are. Oh, I can't see the screen. Still loading. Uh, you said load. <laughs> what a load. We're just watching here. We have our one lonely user that's watching us, and we're appreci we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. And, uh, you know, please let us know if you have any suggestions or anything like that. We always like to hear from folks. And, oops. We always like to hear from folks and uh, see like what you guys improve. think. Yeah. Or what do you want to hear about? What yeah. do you want us to talk about? And, you know, again, honestly, you know, what we want to do here, the, the idea behind this channel is that uh, anyone that wants to get involved, you know, uh, I've got a friend in Utah that, you know, he wants to get involved, so we're going to try to figure out how to get him in. Um, he's got some stuff he wants to go over. And if you have something you want to share with us, you're a musician, you want to go over the technology of music, uh, anything like that. Um, you know, definitely let us know, and and uh, we'll we'll figure that out. Well, because tech peripherates our life exactly every day. You know, you talk about you know technologies and everything. This isn't just about hacking. This is about knowing all technology. You know, whether it's guns or computers or. Uh, or you know, baking bread. Baking bread. You I know, mean, how does baking bread work? It's a technology. So now that we have this thing downloaded, we are going to run Nano. It's editor. And we're gonna say one dot txt because that's what we call. There's it, There's a right? couple different ones you can do. Cat also. I'm not a fan of cat. Okay. Nano is a more. Uh, I I find it easier to work. With. Nice, nice. That's good to know. I uh, I'm not familiar with cat, and I've just been using this one. So here's here's the real money shot. Is you know we're looking here and we're seeing that this is from inside your network. This is from inside the network. So this is telling us all this is the summary of what came back, and we'll get into. Uh, showing you each machine individually, but this is the summary of everything that's open and the ones that I'm questioning right now are these guys uh, You know, I, I mean everything else seems to make sense yeah, right? SSH that would make sense you get, yeah. your, you get your domain. I mean a lot of this is from Windows directly. Yeah, uh, like 139 1443 all this stuff is direct 445 there it is But the last two it's a little bit uh Curious, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, let's see. But what... I mean, that could be a specific application. And that's why I'm wondering. You... I mean, it, it could be. It could be anything, dude. One five two, uh, four nine one five. Uh, let's just do ports. Let's see what happens. So, 
So it says it's actually it's, so it's, it says it's associated with RPC. Uh huh. And normally RPC is related to uh, Windows. It's Windows Direct. Okay. So it, it, Windows DNS is doing servers, it. domains, you know, something like, something to do with Microsoft. Got it. Got it. So more or less, uh, it's nothing that we really have to it's worry the, about. They I think. actually they actually call it out right here. Yeah. So it's running it from your computer. It's not a yeah, problem at all. Yeah. I mean, you, you could be if you have a corporate laptop on on your network that could be broadcasting. But the good news is, is all these it's it's normal stuff, and we can't see this from the outside of our uh, our computer anyway. So yeah, because we saw that earlier, everything none of this yeah, showed exactly. So we're gonna we're gonna go down here. So this is one machine I've got on uh, one nine two one six eight one nine. Um, you know we've got uh, it shows you have, you have the basic SSH, basic you know the, the domain you know port fifty three, basic port eighty. Yeah, it just has uh, everything that you want to know about it, and you know again there's just normal stuff that's open, nothing uh, nothing crazy. Uh, it's all just normal normal stuff. Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing's, SSH. Nothing's out, of, nothing's out of the ordinary. So the good news is even, you know... Coming to my phone, though, like we saw earlier. Uh, yours was... 143. Uh, 1.43. Uh, was it up here? I haven't seen it. I don't think I've seen it yet. Yeah, I think it's down here further. Uh, so there's nothing there. Uh, so there's another phone there. Huh. Yeah, I wonder if yours is... Did uh, I get a new IP? Maybe, maybe. So I was messing with this earlier. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. Oh, it's still the same IP. Ah, weird. Well, you're just on silent mode, I guess. <laughs> it could be. Uh, or it could be your VPN. I did set up a couple things on there when, yeah. when we were playing with yeah. it earlier. Yeah, so that, that's probably it. So anyway, uh, we've looked at the, the, the file. Uh, you know, we can go ahead and just kind of exit out of here. It's control X to get out and we're done. Um, and you know that's what you really want to do to try to look and see if you have any holes in your system. Um, and that's more for comparing the out to the in. Correct, correct. Now there's there's a um, an application called Metasploit, and unfortunately we're not technically set up to uh, to actually show that today. But and plus that can be a whole video on its own. It could be because you can go through penetration testing and do yep, all kinds of yep. stuff there. So and so. You know, again, welcome to hacking. You know, you've hacked yourself, and you didn't get in uh, because you know there wasn't any way to get in. But or you did get in, and now you know the holes, so you can go back exactly. To the and and one thing that we'll probably do is we'll probably set up a router uh, to show you know this is what it looks like when you can get in, and and we were going to do that earlier, but we just haven't had a chance yet. And we may still do that later. Who knows? Exactly. And if not, you know, it's it's something for another day. Yeah. But we can show you exactly what a hole looks like, how to exploit it, and how to get <laughs> what in. What a hole looks like. Exactly. <laughs> you know what? If you don't know what a hole looks like, go look at a video on Pornhub first before you <laughs> watch any more of this, and then come back and watch. I think that's good advice, wouldn't you say, well? I agree. I mean, you couldn't have stated any better. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I guess, you know, one thing we can kind of continue to talk about a little bit more is, um, you know, with VPNs, you know, obviously, it's good that you know hides your IP address, it encrypts everything. Um, people don't know what the origin of your data is because it's coming from a third party, uh, so they, they they can't go and say, well, you know, the the data came, you know, this many miles from here, from from you know where we were. It took this much time. They can't figure out those things. Uh, but what they can do is there's metadata <clears throat> and. For you that aren't that aren't uh, familiar with metadata, there is a lot of it, it's information about information, isn't that Correct. what it is? Yeah, it's, it's like a so, summary of. So, like, if you take a picture or something, mm -hmm. right? You will have your phone would would basically encode the image with metadata. Okay. Like it'll show you GPS coordinates. Yep. You know what kind of device took the picture, on what date, on what time, et cetera, et cetera. It just overly encodes this photo. So, in other words, if if my wife found the picture, the naked picture that my girlfriend sent me, uh, she could see the metadata and she could see her GPS location. And technically hunt her down. Yeah, and kill her. And, uh, or, I mean, I can kill her, but... Or just have some fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. So, uh, Or something from the militia side of things, like say you post a photo, and we can go over this on another video, yeah. you post a photo on Facebook, 
that metadata gets inputted there. So technically, somebody could try to find you through that metadata. So don't send dick pics. People will know exactly or where they do, came from. Or if you do, make it classy. Put like a top hat on it. Like an Abe Lincoln beard. <laughs> Maybe do the 70s version where uh, the dicks is. got sideburns. <laughs> I mean, I think that's 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 the way to go. That's that's classy. Very um, classy. What do you think? The VPN stuff, There's there are a plethora of VPN providers. There's NordVPN, there's IP stream. There's, there's so many of them. You just type in VPN providers and you'll just, you'll just see a huge slew of them. Or we can go into another video on how to set up your own VPN server using Linode, using AWS, and you can use an open source VPN server such as, you know, OpenVPN or a couple other ones that are out there. We can go over that in another video if you want. And, and never forget that if you log into some some place like Facebook or Google or, you know, Amazon or whatever, totally defeats the purpose of having a VPN, so... If not, not necessarily though, so, but, but if you if you log into it like on Starbucks, mm -hmm. it, it's protecting your data correct, correct, in, in correct. transit. But if you're at home and, and but if you wanted to hide who the hell you are, yeah, you, you, you don't want to be doing that. Any any place you log into, if you're gonna log in, they know who you are. So yeah. you know if you're trying to hide from Facebook, you're not gonna be able to hide from Facebook if you log in. But like if I'm going on my bank though, and I'm, and I'm out and about in public, oh yeah, you have to. I go on my VPN. The public is not going to see what no, my password, no. my and all that kind of stuff is. And and even even if you the bank should be encrypted to begin yeah. with. So if you're on a bank's website and it's not encrypted, yeah, you're either being scammed exactly, exactly, or, or you need to switch to a new bank. <laughs> exactly. So, but again, you know, uh, through VPN, you know, data has data. So there are tags of things that oh, absolutely, will, you know, will come through unencrypted on the other end that will tell you where they've been. So if somebody really wanted to figure out, you know, what you're up to. Um, they're gonna figure it out. Oh yeah. Um, and then outside of VPN, we have Tor. But Tor is slow as shit. It, it's but it's VPN esque. Exactly. And what I mean by that is, with a VPN, you're taking where you are here, mm -hmm. you're connecting to another spot over here, and that's where it looks like you're browsing from. Correct. Correct. With Tor, it takes it a couple levels further. It actually jumps you through a couple different core uh, Tor nodes. Three different nodes. You can actually yeah. do more if you wanted to. Yeah, I think three is the standard. And yeah. you can set yourself up to be a node if you wanted. Oh, really? You could. That's cool. Yeah, that's so why I did can, not know you that. You can be a node if you wanted to. So that's how the Tor network works is, is users say, hey, I want to be exactly a node. And then, and then so, so what you do is if you want to connect to Tor, it would bounce through, say, I'm a node, you're a node, uh -huh. and your neighbor's a node. Yeah. It would bounce through the three of us in no particular order and then come out from one of our IPs, and that would show that that's that's where it's originating from. And, and he, does each one encrypt differently, so it's not just one so they, straight encrypted? Does it change the encryption every time it goes to another node? That I'm not I'm not completely specific on those kind of stuff, but I do know that it, it somehow hashes it mm -hmm. as it goes through. So it, uh, there are ways for you know government or other agencies to kind of reverse engineer it. That those specifics I'm not clear on. Yeah. Tor was, a, I think, na and the Navy was a, the one that actually developed Tor. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, there's a little history there. And yeah. some VPN, NordVPN, for instance, it actually has an option for Tor through VPN. So oh, it will wow. actually set up a VPN connection. That is insane. And then allow you to do allow you to do Tor. So it's even further. That is protection. absolutely insane. I had no idea about that's that. That's just a little extra bullshit. No, that, that's really cool. Um, you know, I'm not a big fan of Tor. Obviously, it moves no, you know I, slower than hell. Typically, and people who do Tor, I mean, downloading. You, you, you hear you hear in the fucking news. It's, yeah. it's normally like what was it? A Silk Road. You know, did a yeah. bunch of you did a bunch of you know drugs and yeah, yeah, gun running yeah, and you know yeah, sex trafficking yeah. and stuff like that. I don't know anybody who actually uses Tor. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. I have it and I've played I, with it. I, but. I mean, I think you always hear it uh, for you know publicists or or journalists that mm -hmm. are in those countries that are have censored. Uh, you know they don't have the freedom of speech that, that we do. Uh, you know that you know we thankfully have here. So here we're gonna we're gonna actually show you something on tour real quick, just because kind of want to show you uh, how. I mean, I, so you're actually using the the tour onion router that they correct, has correct. But so you're doing tour over your VPN though. Correct, correct. Um, so you know, let's just look at YouTube and see what happens because. They ask a lot of information from your system. And again, this is why we came out with our first video to speed up the internet with Pi Hole. Yeah, look at check it out. Yep. Um, 
this is exactly why we did this in the first place because these systems uh, w when you connect to them they're asking for so much information back and Tor can't even handle it because they're just like we don't want to give you all this information well I guess I shouldn't say she can't handle it it's just not gonna work because we would have to go in and say okay settings we well, gotta think about it if you're doing multiple hops each computer has to translate that information as it goes along. Exactly. It's but just going to slow it down. That's that's like when you used to play, what was that game back in the day, like in elementary school? You know, you would, everybody would whisper it. Oh, you know, like, uh, the telephone game. Telephone yeah, game, yes. Yeah, exactly. so it's very similar. I mean, granted, the stuff is not, hopefully not being and misinterpreted. I'd, I'd look at my, like, you know, the girl that sat next to me in sixth grade and be like, call me later. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Yeah. But yeah, see, I mean, it's not even loading. I mean, that's how broken it is. Uh, but Tor also has their own hidden, you know, section of the web. Correct, correct. And we're going to go to privacy and security here, and we can see that security level is safest. If we yeah, put it so at it's safer. Block, it's blocking all these scripts. Exactly, exactly. I Which wish everything fucking uses Java. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I mean, you know, again, you know, you're you're trying to access websites that have all this. Throw stuff. it to standards. So that way you can just show. This is what a, a typical. Let's web, do web, that. Web, web page should look uh, like. Let's close this. And yeah. let's just try to reload it here. And it, it's still going to be slow, but everything will load. It, it should load. You can see it's working up there in the corner. What kind of add-ins? Yeah, so you see, see if it actually showed up here. You actually have the different JavaScript actually loading in the screen itself. You have the iframe out here in front. Yeah. Uh, sure, why not? I guess I agree. I mean, it, it loaded, it, although it loaded really slow. Uh, and again, you know, we have our speed up the internet uh, thing going that we talked about that we had in our last video. And let's just do this uh, YouTube. And. Maybe I just loaded like that. Yeah, yeah. Very quick. Very quick. So, uh, Tor. You know, again, if you want to do drug dealing and stuff like that, I get it. Which, it's, it's next level. Yeah, 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 it's next yeah, level for. Yeah. Um, and I don't anonymity. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, again, you know, full disclosure. If you're going to be, you know, dealing drugs, uh, you know, Watch try not to get caught. But you know, this that's not what this video is for. It's no. uh, just to educate people. This is how to protect ourselves. Exactly. So uh, I, think let's, is, I think it's a good place to stop. In the next couple of videos, that we we can talk about. Setting up your own VPN network. Yeah, you can talk. We, great. Can, we can talk yeah, about set, exactly. We can talk about setting up and you know and securing your home router a little bit better. I think that'd be great because you know what I'm I'm not drunk enough and it's my birthday so we got to drink more. We got to drink more. Yes. And then once we get a little bit more of a buzz, I think it's on to the next topic. Yep. I All agree. right. Well, uh, thank you again uh, for our uh, one user that's watching. Um, and this is our first successful live stream here. We, Cheers, we've buddy. never we've never live streamed before. There it is. Uh, this is our second video, first live stream. So uh, again, you know, please let us know what you think. Uh, you know, if there's things that you want to see, you want to get involved. Like I said, you know, uh, we're we're definitely looking for other people that want to go over different kinds of tech. Yeah. And drink beer, beer, whiskey, whatever with yeah. us. We drink whiskey, but. You know, honestly, I mean, you pick your poison. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're cool with it. Yeah, you, you could drink Kool Aid if you really want to, yeah. uh, and uh, you know, we'll just say, "Hey, you're drinking Kool Aid," and that's cool with us too, because yeah. we're going over tech and we're getting drunk while you show us what's going on with these things. Sounds great. Happy New Year, everybody! All right, Happy New Year, Happy 2021. Yes, yes.